Hi everyone! Welcome to English 7 and English 8. I'm Mrs. Hetzel and I'm going to be your instructor for these courses. I am new to the Virtual Academy and I'm so excited to be here. I hope you are just as excited about the new school year and getting started with your courses. So, before we get actually started with classroom curriculum, I wanted to take a few minutes and just go over some things that will help you be successful in my classroom. Okay? Uh, the first thing that I want you to know is, you guys, I hate being called Miss. So please, call me Hetzel. Mrs. Hetzel is fine, but Hetzel is even better. Okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is really good news. My husband and I are in the middle of adopting a newborn infant, meaning we're going to be bringing home a baby soon. So it's very exciting news. Um, and I want you to be aware that I don't know when this is going to happen. So you may come into class one day and see that you have a long-term sub because I've gone on maternity leave. Okay? This is very exciting and we're extremely happy about it. So, yay! Um, okay, the next things that we're going to talk about are two things that you really need to do just to be successful in my classroom. And that is time management and communication. So let's first talk about time management a little bit. When I talk about time management, I mean, how are you going to get everything done in the allotted amount of time? Well, to get everything done, you're going to have to be a planner. So you're probably going to need a planner. Whether that be on your cell phone, on a smartphone, your Google Calendar, or pen and paper, it doesn't matter. You're going to need to be a planner. Please write down the due dates of all the assignments that you have, not just in my class, but for your other classes too. I really want you to be successful, and the first thing to being successful is knowing when things are due. All right? So the second thing is communication. I am here for you. I am your teacher. I want to help you. The problem with this is I don't always know when you need help. So I want to set up an open communication line with you. I am going to be available from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday so that you can get in touch with me. Okay? You may email me call me, text me, or send me a message in Schoology. I will show you where to find all of those things so you can get a hold of me here in a little bit. But before we get there, we're also going to have live sessions, one for English 7 and one for English 8. English 7, your live session with me is going to be on Wednesdays from 1130 until 12. Eighth graders, you guys are going to be meeting with me on Wednesdays from 12 to 12.30. Now, these are not required sessions, but these are times that I will be on the computer and we can have face-to-face -face uh, chats. The other thing that I've set up so that you know how to reach me and can get a hold of me is that I've set up office hours. My office hours are going to be Monday, from 2.45 in the afternoon until 3.45 in the afternoon and on Thursday from 8.45 in the morning until 9.45 in the morning. Now 7th and 8th graders, you're both welcome on Mondays and Thursdays from those uh, for that hour time slot. So don't be shy. I also just want to really take the time to tell you that I'm here to help you. I am looking so forward to being your supportive coach and English teacher this year. So please, if you have any questions, I want you to feel free to come and talk to me, whether that be on the phone, through a text message, or an email. All right? Okay, now that we've got some of those basic things out of the way, I want to actually bring you in and show you Schoology. Now, most of you have used Schoology before. Some of you haven't. That's okay. We'll walk it through slowly and hopefully you won't have any questions. But if you do, please feel free to email, text, call, or message me in Schoology, okay? All right, so this is your home page. You can see Jeffco Schoology up here. It will always go to the home. 
This is my home page. This is exactly where it takes me, okay? Over here, you have your courses button. When you click on the courses button, all of your different classes should be visible for you, okay? Up here, if you notice, there is a envelope, and that is so you can send me messages. That's exactly where you're going to do that from, okay, guys? Now, I'm going to go back over here to the Courses tab. Now, 8th graders, I'm going to go into the 7th grade course, but just pretend it's yours for now, okay? All right, so I'm going in to the 7th grade classroom right now. It'll automatically take you to the Updates page. I haven't put anything in there yet, but don't worry. It will be filling up quick. To find the information that you need, you're going to go right down here to where it says information. This is how you can get a hold of me for all of your different needs. This is where you can email me, you can call or text this number, and when we have a live session, here's the link to it. We'll go over that later, but just know all of the information that you need to reach me at is right here on the bottom left hand corner. Okay, so now that you know how to reach me and where to find my information, where do you find the information for the course? Well, all of that's going to be under the materials tabs, guys. So you're going to click on materials and you'll see that in the materials folder are a bunch of folders. Now, these folders are in order of how I want you to see them. So you have to start with the one on top and then work your way down. Okay? Now as we go through the year, I will be hiding other folders and bringing new folders in, but you will always, always, always start at the top. Okay? So, okay, so here we are in the materials tab. We have our folders you know to start at the top. One thing that you may not have noticed is the upcoming section on the right hand side of your screen. This is where you're going to get a list of all of your upcoming assignments, okay? It's important not to just click on the assignments. You have to go through the folders to find the curriculum that goes with the assignment. If you're just clicking over here, guys, you're going to get confused very quickly. You have to go through the folders. All right, so the Start Here button, this is where you're going to have my introductory video in here. The instructor information, that's a little bit about me and my family, so you can feel free to click on that on your own time. Um, the course syllabus is in here. I want you to sit down with mom and dad or a parent or guardian and look over the course syllabus. This is also going to be an assignment coming up. And this is where you're going to start to find your materials for our introductory unit. Now, before I click on the introductory unit, there are a couple things that I want to tell you about. And that's the fact that our weeks, our sessions, are going to go from Wednesday to Tuesday nights. Meaning, your due date is going to be Tuesday at 12, uh, 11.59, excuse me, 11.59 on Tuesday evenings. Now, that's a good rule of thumb, but there may be other assignments that are due before Tuesday. That's when you're going to make sure you have your planner and your upcoming events and assignments tabs do okay all right I'm actually gonna go ahead and click on the introductory unit now and you'll notice that once I click on it it's gonna take me to another section in here there will be many many pages but I'm still working on building it for you so they're not there just yet but when you log into the course they will be there the most important thing to know is that you need to start at the beginning. Just like the folders, you have to start at the one on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the introduction. And here we can see Welcome to English 7. We've got a welcome note from me, a funny little picture of putting your thinking cap on, and then up here, this is a very important button. This button, the next button, assures that you're going to get my curriculum in the right order. You're always going to hit the next button. I don't want you just jumping around from folder to folder and assignment to assignment. 
hit the next button, okay? So what happens if you get confused and you don't know where you are within Schoology? The really neat thing about Schoology, guys, is that it keeps footprints of everywhere you've been. So if you look up here, we can see that we're in the introductory unit. And if we look here, it'll show you what class we're in, okay? So if you want to take a step back, you'll have a list up here that you can click on, and each one of the links will take you back to the previous page. So just by clicking introductory unit, I'm going back a whole step, okay? All right, guys, I know this was a long video, and I'll try to keep them shorter from here on out, but in this... Uh, orientation video I just wanted to make sure that you could find your way around Schoology and that you knew how to contact me so now you are ready to go to your first assignments congratulations good luck and please contact me if you need help I'm not a mind reader please let me know alright bye guys